Weather check for the 6th, grey, windy and wet. Good morning lovely peeps, Merry Vlogmas Day 6. Mum and I are heading into town. We're meant to be leaving in 10 minutes and neither of them are ready so I don't think we're going to do the calendars before we go. We'll do those when I come back. I'm going to take you with me. I am going to get these sorted out eyelashes. They are a little bit scraggly. I was meant to get them done last week but Marianne was ill so she had to re rearrange and they managed to squeeze me in this morning so uh, yeah I am very much looking forward to doing nice and fluffy and even again and then like I said the other day I'm going to try and sort out my train ticket as well. Wish me luck. Where are you going? Oh! <laughs> Mum's brought me to Hennessy's. I, I suggested that she come in here for fabric for Dad's bag. Christ, Christmas, Christmas present. Or birthday. And birthday. Uh, yeah, she brought me in here because I was looking for some solids and they haven't got solid cottons that they want, I wanted, but they had a bright orange felt. So I've got some of that. And then I fell in love with their Christmas fabric. And if you could hold the bag, I'll show uh -huh. you what I've got. Oops. Oh, it's all stuck, but it's got holly leaves on it so i bought myself some of that i've actually got three meters because it's only 45 inches wide but should be enough to make a, sh a long sleeve shirt or probably a dress <laughs> i have been up to ride i have got my train ticket changed they charged me 10 pounds annoyingly if i had bought the ticket that i had to buy to travel the day i wanted to with me he said he would have waived the 10 pound fee but never mind i i have got a refund so that's good and i have bought my ticket for next friday so i am definitely going to london next friday and uh yeah that was awesome i've got my eyelashes sorted out so they're looking a lot more kind of fluffy and even which is great mum is still having her hair cut so i've come and parked in marks and spencers because it's two pound for to park but if you buy something they give you the two pound back so i thought i would go in and at the very least i'm going to buy myself something for dinner this evening so uh yeah i'm gonna head into m s and take you with me because there is some bed bedding that i want to have a look at in real life i've seen it on the shop on the on the online shop but i want to see if they have it in real life because it's beautiful so uh yeah let's let's go shopping we're back doing chocolate for breakfast for afternoon tea now uh, caroline just to let you know the parcel arrived this morning thank you very much that's very kind of you i'm going to put it under the tree when it arrives but uh, yeah just waiting for my dad now a bit later today i already <laughs> said hello to you and merry vlogmas and everything so you don't have to if you don't ho, ho, ho. oh good grief merry vlogmas okay <laughs> uh so <laughs> Oh. Oh. Is yours? Oh. Is it the sixth? Yeah. Oh God! You know I'm nearly older. Nearly Monday. Yeah. Green. Ooh, I think that's the pistachio one. It's green. I was going to say it's the wrong green for mint, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's not mint. No, it's no. Pistachio. Green. Pistachio marooned. Pistachio. Pistachio marooned. Where is it marooned? <laughs> it's going to be marooned soon on your tongue. And then there's no coming back. Oh, it's gone forever. Yep. But is it good? Mm. Oh, she seems happy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> There's yours. Mm. Let's hope you get something different today. Mm. Yummy. I wish I'd known it was so easy to please her. Mm. <laughs> All these years. Truffles. <laughs> You knew that, surely? <laughs> Clearly not. What about this one? You've done that one. That was your Ferrero Rocher yesterday that you were sure. so disappointed. Oh! Mm. That's the coffee one. <laughs> and he liked coffee. Yeah. Well, I do like coffee, but there could be a touch of bleh here. Oh, a cappuccino. Oh, cappuccino. Is that a, oh, polite, way, yummy a yum. polite way of saying coffee? As long as I don't have to eat it, I don't mind. That's why you didn't get that one. This is a very good thing. Oh no. Mm. It looks anemic. No, it, no, it looks anemic. <laughs> uh, that's such a good word. I mean, if you like coffee... No, I don't, no, no, no. I don't like coffee at all. I've never even had a taste of coffee ever. 
except for when people don't tell me that cake is made with coffee and then let me eat it. I only had a spoonful in. And I only had half a spoonful of cake for a bit, bit, bit. <laughs> and Wilson ate the rest. <laughs> I won't put it in. Oh, oh, he doesn't look happy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear. No. You have to save them for uh, Kerry when he comes. Right, well, there's number six. What have I got today? I have a fudge. You know, I said I could sit down in front of the uh, TV and eat. Yeah. I could never... Eat multiples of those? I wouldn't even sit down. Oh, <laughs> oh God, it was awful. Do you want my fudge? Oh. No. I have this instead. I think that's also co coffee. No, and that's last year. Oh, I don't year. care, just bring it on. That's, that's my fudge. No, no, you carry it. No, I'm not a big no, fan. No, no, no. I'm not a big fan. I think uh, Valerie took the coffee one. What's this one? Co our cocoa. Coconut. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of fudge. It's okay then. Mm. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a fat as well. Oh, it's so much nicer. <laughs> Honestly, I don't like reject it. coffees. Sorry. Chocolates. Um, chocolate that often, but it was not nice. <laughs> Well, you know, for next time, we won't we won't let you eat that one next time. You'll just have to miss a day. Hopefully, there's only another one of them. I am back from in town. I'm back from mum and dad's. I think that was the last thing you saw is us eating our advent calendars today. It was so sad that dad didn't like his one, but he at least he got mine, which is fine. I have just dug through my stash, and I think I am going to use this satin that I got from. Spoon flower for the inside of Wilson's sleeves of his jacket. Like I know you guys like the it's a it was a 50-50 mix really in the comments as to whether I should go with plain black or go with something a little bit me. I think that this this fabric is dark enough that no one's ever gonna see the inside of his sleeves. Even when he takes this off, it's not gonna be super noticeable that the inside of the sleeve has got a print on it. And actually lots of designer coats that I have as well. I'm not designer, but like I have a couple of high-end, high street clothes, like All Saints and things like that. And the sleeves in those are completely, the lining of them is completely different to the body lining because uh, the body lining is not as slippery as the sleeves. And they do use pinstripes and patterned prints and things like that. So it's not completely, out of the realms of you know like this is really weird so yeah I think I'm gonna go with this one and the the other side of that as well is I have this in my stash so I don't need to buy any more lining so I can then use the rest of the budget that I have left to get him something else as well so that his present is not me just giving him his coat back <laughs> I, I, th I do think he's gonna like it but yeah, he is gonna like it. It's gonna be a, it's a nice thing. It's a coat that he likes and that he likes wearing and he'll be able to wear it again. So it is a nice thing. And the leather I've bought is beautiful. Highly recommend Pittards uh, for the leather. And that, yeah, the one I, the, I showed you it the other day when it arrived. So anyway, that's going to be the inside of Wilson's coat. I have fished that out of my stash. And whilst I was doing that, there was some other linings in there that I remembered that I had forgotten about. So yeah, that's good. I am, um, I've had dinner. I had, I got some, I got a salad from Marks and Spencer's. They didn't have the bedding in there that I wanted to look at. They had the cushions that went with it. They had a jewelry box that went with it, but they didn't have the actual bedding that went with it, which is this one. Obviously I like the teal and green one, but I also like the purple one as well. And I preferred the purple cushion that went along with it, but the cushion was 30 pounds which is a lot of money and I could definitely get some of the awesome velvet that from Textile Express and embroider and hand bead that myself because it claimed it, the cushions from M&S claimed they were hand beaded so I could definitely do that myself and end up with something just as pretty and I, I really like the Lima fabric, this fabric from Textile Express. I have some of that, that I'm gonna make a bag with but I, they do it in velvet as well and I'm very tempted to get some of that as well. I know Mrs. 
Mrs. F42. I follow her on Instagram. She made a Morris blazer out of the velvet and it is just, just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. That's a definite possibility. That's been my evening. So I'm going to say good night to you guys, edit this, and then hopefully this will go up earlier than yesterday's video because yesterday's video was just, it took hours to upload. Hours hours and hours so fingers crossed today's doesn't but we shall see anyway i hope you've enjoyed what we've been up to today and i will see you all tomorrow bye